for our um, last topic for our second grading. So we have here our solving problems involving linear equations into variables. So in this lesson class, we are going to um, we are going to solve real life problems. Um, we are going to apply all of our linear equations into variables learning into this application of a real life problems. So um, all of the techniques, all of the things that we um, discuss before will be the summation of um, all of those. So maunis siyang ato ang ending part for our second grading. Now, um, we have here our um, activity first. So we are going to write the correct equation. Okay, so we're going to write first to warm up so that um, nakahinom doon pa ba sa ito ang mga discussion um, before. So, um, let's begin first with this one. So, ato siyang ikano. Ato ang instruction here is to translate the following verbal statements into mathematical equations. So, write your answer on a sh uh, separate sheet of paper and we're going to let X represents a number. So, here is, ang atuang separate sheet of paper is our chat box. Okay? So, I have here corresponding verbal statements or um, um, statements, English statements, and then we're going to change it into mathematical equations. So, ako siyang pakita tanan. So, we have here 1 until 6. Now, let's try first to have number 1, which is twice a number is 6. How are we going to write this into mathematical equation? Twice a number is 6. Ang ato ang a number class ha is, that is um, x. So, how are we going to write this one? We have 3x. Squared, that is 3x squared. Okay. Sige, just try lang to answer class. You can put it in the chat. Ah, 3 times 2 day na. Okay, sige, sorry. 3 times 2 is 6. 3x raised to 2. You have there twice. On sa manang twice class. Diba ang twice kay kuan man na siya, no? Korean group. K-pop man siya, no? Sakto ba? <laughs> okay. Sige. Pero dili na siya K-pop class ha. Um, English statement na siya class. So, 3 plus 3 is equals to 6. Okay. So, unsa din ang twice class? From the word twice. So, kung ato na siya i-change into number, unsa din ang twice. Okay, you have there two. Very good. And then, even man ta, two twice a number. On sa man to atong a number class? On sa kayo to atong a number? Ang equation, amo isuwat sure, or amo i-figure out ang value. No. Inyong isuwat ra ang equation. I-translate ra man nato siya. You're not going to get the answer. Inyo ra i-translate. So, you have there. Okay, nakuha na. So, you have there 2x is equals to 6. So, that is our answer class. 2x is equals to 6. So, nga man, we have there twice a number. Meaning to say, kaduha on ang number. So, ang ato ang number man daw diri is, that is your x. So, you have there 2x and then makita na kag word nga east class. That is um, an equal symbol. Okay? Is is equal symbol. So, you have there equals to Okay, so if you can if you can still remember class, this was our lesson when you were in grade seven, which is translating um English phrases into mathematical sentences, right? So, kanisha is mathematical equations na lang takaron, which is gius manato siya for um linear equations into variables. Okay, so questions for number one class. Sige. Questions for number one. Two x is equals to six. Nag translate your class how we we did not get like the value of x. 
Okay. Now, let's go to the next one. 4 added a number gives 10. Ang 4 ko no, adan og a number, matag ko no 10. Okay, we have 4 plus x is equals to 10. 4 plus 10. 4 plus x is equals to 10. Okay. 4 plus x is equals to apostrophe. And then, close parenthesis. Typo goro to siya. Okay, so very good. So we have here 4 plus x is equals to 10. So you have there 4 and then yung naman tag added. So diba added last mana siya. So plus and then a number. Ning yung naman tag atong x kay a number and then equals to 10. Okay, very good. So so far na ay mga nakakuha no. So that's great. Now, do you have any questions, class, for number 2? Any questions for number two? Okay, none. Now, let's go to number three. If thrice a number is added to seven, the sum is 98. If thrice a number is added to seven, the sum is 98. 3x plus seven. 3 plus seven equals 98. 3 plus is equals to 98. Okay. So, you have there, class, the word tries. Diba? That is equivalent to 3. And then, yun naman tag tries a number. So, meaning to say 3x. Ganun siya. Or 3 times x. And then, mag-add daw ka og 7. And nihang result kay 98. So, your answers are correct. Okay. So, here, class, is ang atua is added to 7 man. Meaning to say, mag-una ang 7. Diba? Kay added to 7 man. Wala man ta nag-ingon diri nga um, is added by 7. So, if niingon pa tag by 7, that is 3x plus 7. And then, here kay added to 7 man. So, we have 7 plus 3x is equals to 98. But don't worry, class, basta addition lang yun siya o multiplication that is okay na magbali-bali. But remember, um, in our subtraction, that is very crucial. Okay, crucial ang subtraction, class, ha, dili pwede magbali-bali. For addition, it's okay. For subtraction, it's no. Okay? No, because lahi naman na iyahang resultas. Especially, like, for example, you will have um, 5 minus 3. The answer there is 2. But if you have 3 minus 5, that is negative 2. And 2 and negative 2 is different. So, that's why we need to follow yod ang ato ang statement given if subtraction. Dili siya pwede magbali-bali. Na subtant class. na subtan for these um, equations or mathematical equations. Okay. Now, this time, let's proceed with number 4. Ah, so far, do you have any questions first for number 3? Wala ra. Now, let's proceed with number 4. We have 25 decreased by twice a number is 12. 25 decreased by twice a number is 12. Okay, so very good. So you have there 25 minus 2x is equals to 12. Diba? Dali raman kay siya ma changeless. If we know lang how to like um, understand our given statement then we can turn it into a mathematical equation. Now, let's go to number 5 class. We have the sum of a number x and y yields 25. The sum of a number x and 3 yields to 25. Okay, we have x plus 3 is equals to 25. Okay, 
I hope those like people who are silent and not participating in the chat is nakasabot ra no sa atong mga gipang yaw o gipang discuss dere. Okay. So now your answer which is x plus 3 it's equals to 25 is correct. Very good. Okay, questions for number 5 class. Okay, kay I'm looking man sad sa mga ni participate sa chat. Okay, Nanra. Okay. Now, down to the last one, we have the difference between thrice a number and 9 is 100. Okay, the difference. The difference between thrice a number and nine is one hundred. Okay, now for your answer, you have it correctly. We have three x minus nine is equals to one hundred. Okay, good job, everyone. Now, do you have any equation? Uh, any equation? Any questions in our writing the correct equation? Okay, none. So. We need to have this one or we need to practice this because this is very useful in our solving the problems later on. Now we have here class um, our, um, our steps to solve problems involving linear equations in two variables. Now can you please read um, Gatabun? The first step. Can you please read first step Gataban? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Wala. Okay, magic. Now, let's go to the next one. Um, how about Lee? Can you please read the first one, Lee? Oh, by the way, can you hear me? Okay, because they're not responding. Ah, okay, yes, no, I'm on the A. Wala. Magic food. Magic syrup. Okay. Um, how about batulan? For the first step, please read. First, read and understand the problem. Okay. Second. Thank you. Oh. Okay. First, let's start from one. Okay. Thank you. So we have there. For our first step, we need to read and understand the problem. That is the very first thing that you need to do in solving problems. Okay, read and understand. Now, for our next one, um, can you please read Jess? Second step. Hello? Anilag daw siya, wait. Ah, gali, teacher. Number two, uh, just second. Ay, second, translate the problem into an equation into variables. Okay, thank you so much. So, we have here in our second step, we need to translate the problem into an equation into variables. So, the same thing that we had a while ago, which is we, um, we translate our equations from um, verbal statements into a mathematical equation. Okay, that is what we need. Uh, that is what we are going to do for the next step. Now, next one, we have here the third one. Can you please read Santolorin? Santolorin. 
Fantolorin. Wala. Magic po? Dagan naging na magic. Okay. Um, how about Ansys? For the third one. Okay, sure. Third, find the solution using the formulated equation. Okay, thank you so much. So, we have here, for our third one, we need to find the solution using the formulated equation. So, what you had um in our previous step, which is you're going to translate the problem into equation. Then this time is you're going to start solving na. Okay, you're going to start solving and then try to find what is asked in the problem. Now, down to the last one, the fourth step. Can you please read Luardo? Okay. Wala. Lao man to sila pag ganina pag attendance ni present man wa lagi. Okay. Sige, let's proceed with Arana. Can you please see the last one? Please read. Fourth, check the solution obtained by substitution and the solutions to the original equations. Okay, thank you so much. So we have here for our fourth, um, we need to check the solution obtained by substitu substitu substituting the solution or solutions to the, gen uh, to the original equations. So here, class, is we need to check in order for us to know if our answers are correct. So, isubstitute rin siya sa imuhang original equation or katong imugibuhat nga equation pag step 2. And then, if you can see nga true ang iyahang kinaobsan or ni-equal sila, then, then it means to say that your answers are correct. Okay? So, these four things will lead you to correct answer in solving problems involving linear equations in two variables. Now, this time, um, let's start solving. So, I have here our first problem. So, can you please read um, anin yun? Sure. Please sure. read the problem. Jake is playing his favorite mobile game. The objective of the game is for the player to earn a specific number of stars to progress to the next higher level. Jake has already earned 300 stars and he can earn 100 stars for every hour of playing the game. Okay, thank you so much. Aninyan. Now, this time class is we are gonna do our step one, which is gibat naman sa nato, which is read. And then now we're going to understand the problem. So, by how to understand the problem, teacher? So, first class is you need to write or you need to. Um, you need to list what are the given and what is asked in the problem. So here, I'm going to start with what are the given that we can see in our problem. So si Jake can play those yung favorite mobile game. Ang objective sa game is for the player to earn a specific number of stars to progress to the next higher level. And then, si Jay kuno kay nanay na earn nga 300 stars. And he can earn 100 stars for every hour of playing the game. So, ansa man ang ato ang given the class. I know you're familiar with this game. Kaya daghan man mga dua, di ba nga, number of stars ang progress for the next level. 
So, ang sama na itong makita during a given class. Unsa may naana ni Jake and then unsa pa gyud iyang makuha. We have 300 and 100. So unsa man ang 300? Actually that is correct. Mona, uh, ang 300 is correct, but we need to we need to specifically um write what is that 300 and 100 stars. Okay, dili lang ang number atong iswat. So unsa man ning 300 based in our problem here. Okay. Ang iyang na earned. Okay, very good. So, you have there or 300 stars is equivalent to what he has. Or, and then we have for 100 stars, that is what he can earn. Okay, very good. So, you have there class, Jake has 300 stars. Okay, Jake has 300 stars. Ibalik ra gunaar. Ikaw ha sige na ka pahilabot sa kung kwarta ha. Naog dito bi. Naog dito bi. Okay, so you have there Jake has 300 stars. Inyo jud nang specific class, dili lang kay 300 lang. Okay? And now for our next one, you have there 100. So ang 100 kuno kay mao na iyang ma-earn for every hour of playing the game. So you can have Jay can earn 100 stars for every hour of playing the game. Okay? So, you need to, to you need to write all. Dili lang ang 300 o ang 100. So far, naapa ba tayo laing given class or that's it na? Okay. Wala na, no? Now, this time is, unsa day gipangutan na sa problem class? Or I think, wala man, no? Ah, okay. Unsa may, unsa may question diha sa problem? Or unsa may yung objective? Or, or I think, wala man sa, wala may question ang problem. So, here, ako na lang ang maghatag sa question. So, it depends ha kung na ay questions ang inyuhang kwan or hatagan tamo o question. So here we have um, for the ask that is the number or the total number of stars Jake can earn after playing X hours. So meaning to say pila iyang ma earn pila iyang ma earn after playing how many hours. Okay, so that is ask in the problem. So now um since we are like already done with the ask and what are the given. Now, this time is mag niya class. Mag-assign ta og values. Okay, so you are going to assign values here. So, you can have um, let x be the number of hours spent in playing a mobile game. So, mani siya imuhang x since we are using here two variables man. So, we have x and y. So, ang x, mao na siya ang number of hours. And then, for our y, that would be the total number of stars he will earn in playing the mobile game. So, meaning to say, mao na siya ang total nga stars nga yung makuha after pila ka hours niya sa pag-play sa mobile game, which is your y. Okay? So, mao na siya, klasa, you will assign value of x and then value of y. So, meaning to say, total number of hours and then total number of stars. Kaya mo, raman sa natong makita sa itong problem class. Diba stars o hours raman atong makita dere. So, mana siya, you can use the value of x and value of y. Okay, so far, any questions for step 1? Okay, nanra. So, mana siya ha, the same sa ato ang problems ganit sa rational algebraic expression. Actually, the steps are the same lang. Mag-assign ka values. Okay. How about the others? Okay, can I see thumbs up if I like question? Okay. Now, this time is we're going to proceed with our step 2. This is to translate the problem into an equation in 
two variables. So, um, let's try first to use our um, table here, class. Na ko ipakita ninyo nga table in order for us to identify lang sa ato ang koan, sa ato ang problem. So, what if we have here number of hours spent niya kay X? Diba? So, mamani siya tong X ganina sa tong step 1. And then, we have of number of stars earned, that is Y. So, for example, you have there, 1 hour siya nag-spend. So, meaning to say na siya 100. Kaya, diba, maumana siya ang ato ang kwandiha. We have maka-earn siya og 100 star kung mag-play siya og game every hour. So, kung 1 hour, you will have 100 times 1 and then plus 300. Or you can change that one, 300 plus 100 times 1. Kaya na naman siya 300 daan. So, mana nag-add ta og 100. Diba? And then, kung natay 2 hours, yung makuha is 300, which is na-earn na niya daan, and then plus 100, and then times 2. So, kanay mong times 2 mo, kanay mong hours. So, kung 2 hours, imura siyang i-multiply by 100 mo na yung star nga makuha. And then, you have there for 3 hours, you have there 300 plus 100 times 3. Okay? So, remember, kay naman tayo pila iyahang ma-earn kung pila ka-hour iyahang ma- iyahang time sa pag-play sa game. So, if we're going to compute that one, so meaning to say, you have there for 1 hour, na siya 100 times 1, that is 100, and then plus 300, that is 400. And then you have there 300 plus 100 times 2, that is 200, and then 200 plus 300, that is 500 ka stars. And then if you have there 3 hours, na siya 300 plus 100 times 3, that is 300, so 300 plus 300, that is 600. So, mana siya itong makuha nga guide as our um, pag-solve paganina. So, now class is since we know already what is our um, our equation, so we can use the I, you can have the 300 plus your um, 100 and then times your value of X which is your number of hours nga gispent. So now, you can easily like um, look na lang for what is um, values of x nga atong kinahanglanon. Now, this time class, do you have any questions for this table? Now, but I questions for this table? Okay, wala ra. Now, what if um, here in my given problem class is na ko'y gihatag nga um, problem? So, you have there, find the solution using the formulated equation. So, atong formulated equation, we have 300 plus, or you can have y is equals to 300 plus 100x, or 100 times x. So, we have here to determine the number of stars earned after playing the game in 4 hours. So, we're going to use the equation obtained in step 2 and substitute the value of x. So, we have man this one, diba, which is y is equals to 100x plus 300. So, as you can see, class, ang atong gibuhat ani is unsa ni siya nga kuan, unsa ni siya nga form. Is this standard or is this um, slope intercept form? Okay, this is slope intercept form. Very good. So, ato siyang in any class so that na amoy basis sa pagbuhat sa equation. Okay, it can be standard or it can be um, slope. Pero much better na magkuha kag slope because ang, ang nasa right side ni mo kay usajud siya ka. Um, variable. So, you have there y is equals to 100x plus 300. And then, ang question there is 4 hours man daw after playing 4 hours. So, you can have, substitute lang nato 
y is equals to 100 times 4. So, mama na siya tong hours, di ba? Ang sa tong table ganina, we have ang atong x kay number of hours. So, you have there, ato lang substitute ang 4 sa atong x. So, you can have um, 100 times 4, that is 400. And then, plus 300, so pila iyang value of y class. Pila yung values of y. Okay, that is 700. So, meaning to say, um, Jake will earn 700 stars um, if he play the game in 4 hours. Okay? So, mana yung ma-receive nga stars. All in all na naklas ha, appeal sa yung na-earned o sa iha pang ma-earn in um, every hour of playing the game. So, you know where is the crucial part here, class? And that is your equation. If masayup mo sa equation, class, masayup na po mo sa pag-solve niya. Okay? So, pwede yun din yung i-use as your y ka na inyong gipangita. Okay? Pwede mo maglibog, you can use the y as inyong gipangita. And then, ang katong x is mo to siyang nasa given. Okay, now questions for step 3. Questions for step 3? Okay, wala ra. Okay. Very good. Now, this, yes? Siya, sagi ka ng 4. Ah, question na siya. Question na siya. Wala, wala na siya diri. Okay, kung ano na siya ka ng given. Okay. Now, any other questions? Okay, any other questions? Okay, wala. Now, let's go to the last step. So, for the last step, that is to find the solution. Oh, joke. Nyara ka ni balik. I did it, day. Sakto day, class. O siya ni balik. So, kani step 3, gapon siya. Pero, 5 hours of playing the game na ni siya. So, another, kwa nasad, isolve na to. So you can have their substitute lang yapon using our um using our formula. So we have their y is equals to 100x plus 300. So substitute x of 5. So that is 100 times 5 that is 500 plus 300. So pila siya class. Okay, that is 800. So meaning to say Jake will receive 800 stars after playing um, the game after 5 hours. Okay. So, kani day siya class no, um, kani akong given here is wala na ko siya gibutang sa akong question. So, dari ra ko ni end per actually na siya mga corresponding solutions na lang gani class so that ma-understand ninyo ang pag-solve. Okay. Now, let's go to the next one, which is 6 hours na po daw. Sige, try daw to solve class if 6 hours. Pila ihang ma-receive nga star. How much stars he will earn? Okay, very good. That is 900. Kay? Kwan man? One, uh, 100 times 6. 600 plus 300. That is 900. Diba, dali na lang na to pag-identify once we have our formula. Okay. Now, manajin siya ang step 4, which is to check the solution obtained by substitution or substituting the solutions to original equation. So, you have their class. Kata itong mga example ganina. So, para makuha ninyo siya or ma-check ninyo kung sakto ba. So, naman ta ganina, we have x is equals to 4. And then, ihang y ka is equivalent to 700. So, mani siya class, katong number of hours niya kay 400, ihang ma-receive nga star kuno kay 700. So, imo siyang i-substitute sa imuhang original nga equation class. Diba, you have there your y that is 700. So, and then equals 100 and then your x is 4. And then plus 300. So, we simplify 100 
times 4, that is 400, and then plus 300, so that is 700 is equals to 700. So, meaning to say, nag-equal man siya, so it, that is correct. That is how you're going to um, check your solution. Now, for the next one, we have 5, and then yang y, or yang number of stars nga makuha kay is 800. So, substitute gihapon, 100 times 5, that is 500, plus 300, that is 800, which is equal lang gihapon. So, correct ang ato ang answer. And then, katong x na to, or number of hours kay 6 hours, you have their y is equals to 900. Substitute, 900 is equals to 900. So, meaning to say, the number of stars earned after playing the mobile game for 4, 5, and 6 hours is 700 stars, 800 stars, 900 stars, respectively. So, that is how you're going to um, solve um, problems involving um, linear equations in two variables. So, questions class so far for our first example. So, taas taas gigsiya no? Pero laban lang gihapon. Okay. Wala ra? Now, let's proceed with our next example class. So, we have here example number 2. A dress make, uh, a dress maker charges 750 pesos for sewing a seat cover with a minimum of 20 pieces. Plus 100 per seat cover cloth. So, how much will it cost if you will order 20 seat covers? Or 20 seat covers. Okay, so let's try to understand our problem class. So, what are the given that we can see here class? Sige, ang sa to ang mga given nga makita. Ang dressmaker ko no, mag-charge or magpabayad og 750 sa pagtahi sa mga seat cover nga na ay minimum of 20 pieces. And then, mag-plus siya og 100 per seat cover cloth. So, pila ang atong bayran kung mag-order ta og 20 ka seat covers? Sige, unsa man itong mga given dere para dali na ito siyang ma-identify. Sige, unsa itong mga given class. We have 754 sewing seat covers. We have um, 100 for seat cover cloth and then minimum of 20 pieces. Okay, very good. So, same as what I have told you a while ago, dili lang ta magbutag 750, 120, that's how we need to identify on sana sila. Okay, so ang 750, that is sewing seat cover with minimum of 20 pieces. And then you have there 100 per seat cover cloth. Okay, you have 100 per seat cover cloth. And then, ang gi-ask na to, unsa may gi-ask na to, direct class, sa tong problem. What is ask in our problem? Actually, makita ra ninyo kung unsa yung question diha mo na gi-ask class. Okay, so you have how much will it cost if you will order 20 seat covers. Mo na siya ask Now, this time, since we already got our given and what is asked in the problem, now, this time is, dira na ta mag, um, mag-assign og value. So, kung ang ato adri class is how much? So, meaning to say, kwarta og, on sa ato ang gihisgutan dere. Money and seat covers. Diba? So, mamani siya ang ato ang gi 
um, gihisgutan. We have money and the seat covers. Okay? So, you have there the money and seat covers. So, ang atong giingon ganina class is, kung unsa to imuhang gipangita, mao to siya imong why. Kung unsa imong gipangita, mao to siya imong why. So, mag-use man ta og x og y diri kay ko ano man ni siya. Two variables. So, ari sa ta sa x na to. So, unsa tong gamiton nga x class? The seat covers or ang ato ang money? Ang seat covers or ang ato ang money? For the value of x, money. Okay, actually that is the seat cover. Diba, niingon ba ako ganina nga, ang y na to class is mauna siya ang ato ang gipangita. Unsa may gipangita, dere, unsa may ang ato ang as sa problem. Diba, kwarta? Diba, money? Because how much? So, meaning to say, ang kanang how much ni mo, mauna siya yung gamiton as your Y. Which is the total amount to be paid for seat cover plus the charges. Okay, so your X will be your number of seat covers. Kaya nasa yung given diha. And then, ang imuhang Y is mauna siya yung imong gamiton as your gipangita. So, mauna siya yung gipangita diha kay how much man mean to say money. So, that is the total amount to be paid for seat cover plus the charges. Okay? Um, are you getting the, the, the thought class of the let X and let Y? Or na questions? Sige, if na questions class ha, don't hesitate to ask. If naglibog, please pangutana. Okay, remember how your why should be kung unsay gi question. Okay, para maka-use ta og slope intercept form sa tuang equation. Nasabtan ra ba? I hope nasabtan ra no. Now this time is we're going to proceed with step number 2. For step number 2 is this is to make an equation. So it's only na to paghimog equation class. Using our y is equals to um, the total number or the total amount. And then for x is the number of seat covers. Saon ka na to siya. Ang ipangutan na diya kay how much will it cost if you will order 20 seat covers man. Saan ka na na to siya, class? Pagbuhat siyang equation. We have y is equals to 750x plus 100. Almost. Pero atong i-analyze. You have there, mag-charge from man 750 for sewing the seat cover. Nga na ay minimum of 20 pieces. And then, mag-plus siya o 100 per seat cover cloth. So, charge na na siya. So, meaning to say that is fixed. So, dili ni siya ma-change, di ba? Kaya, i-charge naman niya minimum of 20. And then, for the cloth, kaya magkuan siya og 100 per cloth. So, what if mag-order to og 20 seat covers? Okay, very good. So, you have there y is equals to 100x na siya klas ha? plus 750. Ako sa siyang ikuan ha, para makita ninyo ang correct one. Okay, asa na to siya? Okay, 100 yun na siya, na-type po na siya. So, you have there, 100x. Uy, nakita nga yun, sir. So, you have there, 100x plus 750. So, may bungungan ng 100x, man, teacher. Naman tayo gingon nga, 
100x daw ang or 100 ang ihang bayad per cloth. So meaning to say na kay i-add ana niya kay for example kani 20 man ihang orders nga seat covers. So i multiply na nimo siya sa imong 100 and then mag-add ka si hang charge nga 750. So meaning to say mo na siya ang um fee nimo sa tigtahi which is ang 750. Well, ang kanang 100 is mo na siya ang cloth nga imong bayran kung pila ka book imong ipabuhat. Okay? So nakuha class nga nung y is equals to 100x plus 750. Actually, sakto gihapon ng kag Daniela ha nga y is equals to 750 plus 100x. Pero ang here, um we are going to use slope intercept man. So for our slope intercept that is y is equals to mx plus b. Okay? So, correct ya po na siya kang Daniela. Okay? So, so far, questions for step number 2 class. So, are you good ang pinaka-crucial class ha? Step number 2. You need to, kuan yun, to analyze your problem. Okay? Wala ra? Okay. Now, this time, kay mag-proceed na ta sa tong step number 3, which is, we're going to use the equation obtained to stop at uh, in step two to solve the problem. Since the number of seat cover to be made is 20 man, kay mama na imong i order. So pila ka ha atong mabayran. So gamit na to ato hang kuan ganina nga y is equals to 100x plus 750. Ato rang i-substitute ang ato ang x sa ato ang here, so 100x. Kaya ang x na to is mamana siya ang number of seat covers. Diba? Sa itong step 1. So, ato rin na siyang i-substitute plus. So, you have there y is equals to 100 times 20 and then plus 750. So, pila man ang 100 times 20 class. That is... Okay, 2,000. Now, 2,000 plus 750. Okay, that is 2,750. So, meaning to say, class, um, ad um, you will pay 2,750 if you will order 20 seat covers. So, dali na na siya sa 750 nga fee or charge. And then, mono siya mo 20 seat covers. Okay. Sige, questions for example number 2. Na pa ba question? Okay. Now, this time class is atong i-check na ang ato ang um, if sakto ba ato ang gihimo ang equation or sakto ba ato ang answer. So, ato rang i-check atong answer directly the facts of the problem and then substitute the value of x and y of the equation. So, mamani siya atong equation ganina which is y is equals to 100x plus 750. So, ang atong y daw, di ba, mao naman to ganina, 2750 and then is equals to 100 and then ang atong x kay 20 kay matong the order plus 750. So, i-substitute ra na to, 2,750 is equals to 1,000 times 20, that is 2,000 plus 750. So, they are equal. So, meaning to say, the total amount to be paid is 2,750. Okay. So, questions for example number 2. Okay, non ra. Okay, so let's have the last one class ha, and then, and then, kwan lang, ato na siya paspasan since already 10 naman. So we have here, um, a tricycle passenger is charged 20 pesos for the first 10 kilometers and an additional of 3 pesos per succeeding kilometers. So, what is the cost of a 25-kilometer ride? 
So, not a direct class. You have their, ang tricycle ko nung no, passenger or pasahero kay mubayad o bainti sa iyang first 10 kilometers. And then, mag-add siya o tres kada three kala, uh, kada um, kilometer nga iyahang um, i- ikuan, nun sa'yo pangalan na travel So, pila ko na yung mabayran kung 25 ka kilometer ihang travel or ihang ride. So, now class, mag sa tam, since um, ato namang na-understand siguro ang problem, no? So, usa sa pag-understand sa problem class is to change it in our um, in our own language or ato siyang binisayaon. Okay? Para dili maglibog. So, now, Let's try to get the kuansa, the given. So, unsa may given na to the class? Sa makita sa tong problem. Sa may first na to makita diha. Pwede na nyo siyang isuwat. Okay, you have their 20 pesos. That is the charge for the first 10 kilometers. Okay, next one. Unsa pa? You have there additional. Okay, that is the additional of 3 pesos per succeeding kilometers. Okay, now this time, what is asked in the problem? Since nakuha naman na to yung given, 20 first 10 kilometers and then 3 pesos for succeeding kilometers. So, what is our ask? Okay, the cost of a 25-kilometer ride. Very good. Now, this time class, mag-assign tag values for x and y. So, unsa man atong gikuan ani, gitok ani ato ang problem diri. We are talking about the cost and kilometers, right? So, kilometers of cost ang ato ang gihisgutan diri. So, let's uh, let's try first to um, use our x. So, unsa man atong i-x diri class? Ang kilometers or ang cost? Okay, very good. We are going to use our x as our kilometers. So, you have there let x charge per succeeding kilometers. Now, how about for our y? Y is the money or y is the total cost. Okay? So, same gyapon ganina class ha, kung unsay gipangita mao inyuhang why. Okay? So, questions for step 1. Okay. I hope na sundan ra no, um, ang ato ang flow sa pag-solve. Okay? Now, for our step 2 class. So, in this problem, we will try to use a table of values. So, pwede ta mag-use og table of values. So, you have there, um, because table of values class is one of the easiest way to to figure out gani or to kanang, to visualize your problem. Like we have here, for example, kilometers, that is 10. So, yang total cost kay 20. So, nga 10 niya, 20 man teacher, because ningon biata nga ang first 10 kilometers niya, kay 20 pesos. And then, kung mag 11 kilometers ka, kay ningon man additional per succeeding kilometers, so mag-add ra ka og 3 niya. So, that is 20 plus 3, that is 23. And then, if 12 kilometers, that is 26. And then, for 13 kilometers, that is already 29. Now, this time class, um, how are we going to get our kuandere, our formula? So, pwede na itong ma-apply ito ang lessons previously, which is finding the equation using two points. Right? So, kanimuhang table of values is this is your guide in order for you to get your um, equation. Kay kani, pwede man ito siyang ma-visualize nga 10, 10 kilometers, that is 20 yang mabayran. 11 kilometers, 23 yung nabayran. Diba kani kay mag-add-add ra ka og 3 niya. Now, teacher, in saan mini na to pagkuha yung equation? If you can still remember our lesson last week, which is finding the equation, 
using two points, slope and intercept, slope and point. So, kani siya, ang atong ma-apply diri is two points. Diba, kani siya is one point naman ni siya. One ordered pair, kay x o y man siya. So, 10, 20, and then 11, 23. Second ordered pair ni mo, 11, 23. So, if we're going to get our equation, so, for example, nag-choose ko sa 10, 20, o 11, 23. So, di ba, mamuni siya, 10 pesos, ano, 10 kilometers, 20 pesos, and then 11 kilometers, 23 pesos. So, mani siya ko mga ordered pairs nga, or two points nga ako ang gamiton in order for us to get the equation. So, you have there, Nagkuan ko niya, nag-assign ko 10 is x sub 1, 20y sub 1, 11 x sub 2, y x sub 2. Now, ato nang gamito na nga to ang slope formula. So, we can have, i-substitute ra na to siya, which is m is equals to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And then you have there your 23 because that is your y sub 2 and then your y sub 1 is 20. And then you have there your x sub 2, 11. x sub 1 is negat, uh, minus 10. And then m is equals to 23 minus 20, that is 3. 11 minus 10, that is 1. And then you have there your m is equals to 3, so that is your slope. Okay? Or actually, class, you can use the last week's lesson nga pagkuha sa ito ang um, equation. Diba? Naman tayo formula ato class, no? So, pwede ka ito, pwede inyo hanggamiton. Okay? It depends on what um, what you like or on sa inyo hang um, mas applicable ninyo or mas dali ninyong mabuhat. So, kung two points ba yung class, we can use the katong um, two-point form. So, pwede po ito ninyo gamitin ang two-point form. Pero sa akong given there is, nag-use pa ko og slope formula. Okay? So, pagkuhan ako sa slope niya class, is, na-change din ko sa, or naghimo na dayon ko sa yung slope um, intercept form. So, nakakuha naman ko sa yung slope. So, you have there your m, and then your x and y, that is um, 10 and 20. So, pwede na lang na ko siyang i-substitute. So, you can have 20 is equals to 3 times 10 and then plus B. So, mano na siya kung formula class. Ang pag-anina, gikuhara na ko ang slope. And then, gisubstitute na ko sa to ang slope intercept form. And then, gikuha na ko ang katong mo niya, ang katong X o Y nga nasa tong problem. Which is X kay 10 kilometers and then 20, that is your Y which is, mo na siya mong i-charge for 10 kilometers. And then, gisubstitute rin ako siya sa slope intercept form. So, ang y na ko diri is 20, and then you have there your slope is 3, and then your 10 is your x, and then plus b. Okay? And now, ako na doon siyang gisimplify, so I can get here my y-intercept as equivalent to negative 10. So, meaning to say, substitute the slope and the y-intercept obtained in the equation y is equals to mx plus b. Therefore, using the table, we can come up with the equation y is equals to 3x minus 10. Okay, y is equals to 3x minus 10. Kaning 3, mauna siya yung slope. And then, kaning siyang imuhang negative 10, that is your y-intercept. Okay? And now, we can use this formula. Okay, class, if taasan mo ani niya, you can use the two-point form, ha? Okay, yun sa itong two-point form, o ni siyang atong two-point form, class. Actually, na nagtanaw din si Anonymous Python. So, mo ni siya itong two-point form, class. Kani siya. So, we can use this formula if magkuha taog um magkuhatag to um magkuhatag equation using two points asa naman ni siya eh kalayo na ba ni mo kali siya okay pwede nga kani inyong gamiton i substitute ninyo ang value sa y ug value sa x 
X sub 1, X sub 2, Y sub 2, Y sub 1. Okay? Kaya kanil siyang akong given here sa kong example is taas-taas man siya o process. Pero same ragya po na siya answer class. Okay? So now, after you got your equation is pwede na tang mag-solve. So ang question na to ganina is 25 kilometer man. So 25 kilometer, so substitute ra na to atong X o 25. So, 3 times 25, that is 75 minus 10, so 65. So, meaning to say 65, ihang mabayran for 25 kilometer. Now, you can check if your answer is correct. So, 65 ang y and then isubstitute 3 times 25, that is 75 minus 10, 65. So, meaning to say, um, he will pay 65 pesos for 25 kilometers. Okay? So, dili na siya parihaan ng kwantas hanga. For example, um, 10 kilometers man teacher. So, pwede ra ka mag 10 and then times 2 sa 20. Kay 25. So, 25 and then diba that is sa 20 kay 40 na mong mabayran. Kay 10 kilometers man and then you have there 25. So, 20 kilometers, that is 40. Dili, class ha, dili na siya pariha kay. Ang gingon man diri, first 10 kilometers naman ang 20. And then, ang succeeding ana or kasunod nga mga kilometers, mag-add na kag 3, 3 pesos. Okay, dili, pwede nga, imuni siyang i-multiply by 2 ang 10. So, that is 20 kilometers. So, kani 25. So, i-minus ni mo, 25 minus 20, that is 5 na lang. And then, 40 ang bayran. And then, dira na ka mag-add og 3 sa imuhang 5. Dili na siya pariha ka sa remember. Kaya, ang, ang sa tong problem diri is first 10 kilometers ragyud siya. So, ang first 10 kilometers 20. And then, succeeding ana mag-add na ka og 3. So, kung ato na siyang binagsaon class, pwede ragyud ka ayo mag-20 ka. And then, sa 11 kilometers, pwede na ito ni humanon ang table, hantod makakuha kag 25 kilometers. Pero taas-taas na siya nga pa maagi, kaya what if dag ko ang mga number. So, much better nga, magbuhat yung gaog equation. So, that is for our last example class in solving problems involving um, linear equations in two variables. Now, questions so far. Okay, wala ra. Na more good to siya. Magdepende na lang na sa problem kung when ka maka-apply sa table and then kung unsay need, uh, need pa ni mo. Okay. Now, since wala na may questions, no? Wala na may questions.